Okay, let's make a Bloody Mary and every Bloody Mary variation you can think of. Bloody Maria, Red Snapper, whatever it is. This is the most simple way, easy to do at home. A lot of people, they throw all this stuff in Bloody Mary, it gets really complicated. You don't even understand it, you can't even pronounce the ingredients. It gets way too complicated. This is the traditional way, the most simplest way. And sometimes, simple is the best. So here's how you do it. Step one, you want to grab yourself a tall and narrow glass. This is going to be the best glass to complement this cocktail. Then we're going to rim the top. Now this completely optional step. You don't have to do this. If you're using a straw, it's completely aesthetical. It doesn't matter, right? But if you are doing it, here's what I do. Super simple, like I've said, but it's going to go in equal parts chili flakes and sea salt. You don't have to measure this out, you don't have to weigh it, just eyeball it, equal parts, a pinch of chilli flakes, a pinch of sea salt. You do want that kind of flaky sea salt, that's going to look the best. A lot of this step is all aesthetics, it's all about how it looks, so get some pops of colour in there. Now, for the glass, grab yourself a piece of citrus fruit, a lime, a lemon, an orange. Rim that around the top, that's going to get it nice and wet, that's going to help hold the rim cold to it. Stick your glass within that chilli and salt dust that you just made, give it a little turn around, get it all stuck to it, and then you should have a perfectly coated glass. Super simple, totally optional, put that to one side, grab yourself a Boston shaker. This is where we'll build our cocktail. Now, the Bloody Mary. The main parts of it, it's got three things that make it up. One is the alcohol, two is the spice, and three is the tomato juice. That's it, everything else is all just optional stuff to make it taste better, but the original recipe, that's all you can have, those three components. So it's super simple. For a Bloody Mary, the alcohol is vodka. So you're gonna go in, 50 milliliters of vodka. Red snapper, use gin, Bloody Maria, use tequila, this is a Bloody Mary, so we're using 50 milliliters of vodka. Next up, the tomato juice. You don't have to have anything special, just whatever you like to taste. Right? Doesn't have to be some really niche tomato juice, just whatever it is you like, whatever's cheapest. We're gonna go in with 100 milliliters of that tomato juice. So whatever, however, many, however much alcohol you put in, double that, that's how much tomato juice you put in. Then, for the spice, this is where it gets more complicated. The easiest way to do this is just Tabasco, a couple of dashes to your liking. It's really one of those things. I don't have Tabasco on me, so I've got some hot sauce, so I'm gonna do it in bar spoons instead. So I'm just gonna put one bar spoon of hot sauce into there, and that should be about medium spice. If you're using Tabasco, I'd say about four dashes, that's your go to. Have it like that and see what you think. If you want it spicy, Put more spice in, if you don't, pair it back a little bit on your next one. But it's totally up to you this step. Right. Next up, we're going to use some Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Right. And this is just seasoning our cocktail. So I'm going to go in with nine dashes. Like I said, those first three ingredients, you can get away with that. But this is how we're just going to season it, how we're going to enhance all those things we've already put in. So nine dashes of your Worcestershire sauce, one dash of black pepper, that's going to add a bit of spice, going to add a bit of bite, then we're going to have some sea salt, one pinch of sea salt. You don't want to taste the salt in the end cocktail, but you want enough just to enhance all the other flavours in there. It's going to make that tomato juice taste really rich. Then we're going to go in with some lime juice, just 10 millilitres once again. We don't want to taste the lime juice. We're just looking to balance and enhance all the flavours, which is why it doesn't matter if you use a cheap tomato juice, because we're changing it, we're enhancing it ourselves. Right. And then fill that up with ice, you want about the same amount of ice as you would fill in your glass, and I'll show you why. But for now, believe me, put that in, lid on, now you don't want to shake it. Not a vigorous shake, you don't want to bruise it, you don't want to emulsify that tomato juice, so we're not going to do any big Nope, we're just going to give it a roll, a little side to side. Couldn't be any more easier. You don't even need the boxing tin for this. You can just stir it. You can just kind of 
give it a little move around, that's it, we're just combining, diluting and chilling. No emulsification going on. And that is it, all that, everything else you want to add in there, you can do, but this is the simplest method and the tastiest. Now we're going to pour that in and you see why we use the same amount of ice is because we want it perfect. We want this little window at the top, okay? So a little bit more ice if necessary, but keep in mind you want a window and that is for when we garnish it. So onto the garnish, grab yourself some celery, pull off a stem of celery. Do you call them stems? Sprig of celery? I don't know. Pull off a bit of celery, stick that in there. And there you have it, that right there, that is your bloody Mary. Could not be more simple, right? Super simple, alcohol, tomato and spice, everything else that goes into it is a bit of seasoning. Yeah, you can use celery salt, you can use bay leaves, you can use cardamom, you can use all these kind of more niche flavours. But this is the classic and this is what you want to start with if you enjoy this cocktail and if you want to make them at home because this is going to give you the base to build off. With this recipe you can add more of what you like and kind of take away and add and really see what everything's doing within the cocktail. Okay so this is where you want to start. Like I said this Bloody Mary if you want to use a red snapper you would just replace the vodka with gin. If you want to use, if you want to say make a Bloody Maria you're going to swap the vodka for tequila, same amount, 50 ml, is it that simple? Sure, you can get classic with this, you know, you can get you can get a little bit more, what's the word, mm. pretentious with this, if you so desire, you know, build on that, maybe add some different things to really change the variations, you know, you could do, let's say you do the Bloody Maria, right, that's going to be a lot more earthier, so maybe you can add more earthier flavours, maybe garnish it more with micro herbs, maybe even a little bit of beetroot in there, just to enhance that kind of earthiness. If you're going for the red snapper, which is with gin, then it's going to be more botanical, maybe add some pickle brine in there, garnish it with a little bit of a pickle, maybe some olives, even herbaceous works well with gin, like rosemary. You can get pretentious, but the guideline is there, and this right here, this is the guideline. And hey look, have a try, see what you think. Super delicious, that right there is Bloody Mary slash Bloody Maria slash Red Snapper. Enjoy.